Hello friends, this is the last lecture on series of lectures on torsion. In this lecture what I will try to do basically is that I will try to understand the relation between the polar moment of inertia and theta t or the angle of twist. Now the thing is like this that if a body is given some sort of a torque there will be an angle of twist and the angle of twist is nothing but the angle by which a plane moves as compared to its original position. So if this was my plane AB, after a torque is applied, the plane moves by AB dash and essentially this is my angle of twist, right? And so essentially, if a body has a greater angle of twist with a certain torque, then essentially it means that the body has been subjected to a more sort of a strain. So essentially if a body has to take in torque better so it must have a lesser angle of twist and we know that this angle of twist or theta t is inversely related with j or the polar moment of inertia so essentially if a body has to take in torsion better and reduce its angle of twist then essentially what i got to do is i got to make this value of g and j g the shear modulus and j the polar moment of inertia higher and essentially, this will make theta lesser and as such, the body can take in torsion well. Now, this torsion or is also linked with theta t and that is also related with L. L being the length of the shaft. So, obviously, greater the length of the shaft, more will be this deformation or the strain or the angle of twist. Now, this is all for this lecture. I hope I have been able to uh, give some sort of an understanding of what torsion is.